That's Pluto, baby. It's the end of the ride. Sounds like an evil train, don't it? It's okay if you say yes. I'm here with you. I don't want you to be afraid. I don't want you that. I thought it would make things lively. There's no point in having all the solar system sound, hold, having went through all the trouble to get the solar system sounds when the CME hit us, the X flare. We have another X flare coming in. Maybe it'll hit tomorrow. Not entirely sure. And if this is, uh, if we're in the current um, new moon, the new occult energy is going to be fucking insane. And that's what I think we got going on. That's what I think we got going on. Rex was looking at some petroglyphs and it was showing way back in the times whenever the Anasazi or somebody, somebody was having a different, um, cataclysm. And they had like petroglyphs of the gods handing out and taking some of the people to the new timeline while the other evil human were becoming, uh, skinwalkers. So, for those of you that are going to become skinwalkers, how are you going to do it? How are you going to make it in the world? Are you going to be able to pick maybe a bird, a dog, maybe a snake? And, uh, because then you could just transform into that animal and get your nourishments. You could stay as an animal for long periods of time. Since you sons of bitches don't want to act right anyway. Why as well just stay as that snake. When you eat. When you eat. When you transform and you skin walk. And you're a predatory animal. And you go to catch your food. You catch you a rabbit or something like that in the field. You need to eat that rabbit. Let it digest in your stomach. Before shape shifting back, or you'll get food poisoning. Yeah, humans can't eat just raw meat. So you need to make sure you stay in your animal form till you fully digest. Yeah, let that stuff get into your uh, lower intestines. At least past the stomach. Once it gets past the, the, the animal stomach digestion process and into the um, upper intestines... You should be in the clear. Hey, you got to think about these things. You don't know. What are you going to do? All the power goes out. Humanity's decimated because the controllers wanted to fucking get all the dang money stolen. Wanted to start a war with the fucking Russians. Annihilate the earth. Are you going to make it? Are you going to go with the good ETs? To the Pleiades? Are you going to go with Ashtar Command? Ashtar Command? To fucking Way Station 7? Maybe so. I don't know. Aliens don't talk to me. I might be in the camp of having to be a... I might have to be a skinwalker too. I'm very upset. Very disturbed by this. I'd like to show you a book that has some transformation, transformational secrets. For any of those who... You may be... By some sick fucking twist of fate you turn into a skinwalker let's have a look it's the same song okay but nothing on a genetic level on only on a soul level yes well so about how old are you and 
How long does your avatar last? How long? This is multidimensional healing channel. We like her. I think she may be a subscriber on ours. I do believe. Sounds like it. And what's interesting is, of all the planets, I briefly did Mars. But I don't like Mars. You follow me? I just don't like Mars. I don't know what happened there. I don't want nothing to do with it. Yes, the energy. I need the energy, of course. I understand. However, what I'm saying is, that planet, it's got bad mojo. Do I want to go to Mars? No. Never. I don't want nothing to do with Mars. Would I communicate to beings on Mars? Why not? Why not? I don't have someone to record my channel. Well, I have my phone. I guess so. I'm not going to be doing channeling. I'll be channeling my own channel. And multidimensionally connecting to other aspects of myself. Like the channeler lady. I didn't picture her blonde. I think she says she's blonde. Bring it back. Well, I might as well. How long does your time live? Around a thousand, but usually we die way before that. We switch bodies all the time. So you've always had the same consciousness? Um, I mean, you've always been able to recall who and what you were before you entered this avatar? Yes. And this goes back many thousands of years? Yeah. We don't recall everything. We recall what we need to do our mission. So what dimension are you on? Yeah. Are you able to manifest physically in the third dimension? With technology, yes. How often do you do um, that manifest in the third dimension? Very rarely on Mars, but I don't like the third dimension. I don't Have either. you ever manifested in the third dimension on Earth? No, I don't come to Earth. I observe Earth from psychically and also this energy, this frequency. Many of the people who are who remember either being super soldiers or have connections to super soldier energy. Or SSP program in general. Almost all of them are agents here. They, they collect intel. They're basically like how the agency appears. I think she's absolutely right that some of the people that think they're super soldiers are gathering inter energy as agents. But now for the uh, transformation. The architects. Um, transformation book speed run let you know what you're dealing with it's a crash course you can look this up yourself if you want to find out but I want to show you that there's a long standing tradition for mother face and practices on transforming the body there's a lot of kinky shit in there I'd like to start at the beginning this is the book. As you can see. So basically, this is you. Many types of transformations are available. Get an immortal to help you. If you know Buddha, Buddha can help. May they ask Jesus, see what he says. He might not like you transforming. He might not, he might not approve. Give you a psychic perception. You'll know your psychic hearing. 
You'll need all these psychic abilities when you begin to transform, because you will not be using your human eyes. The first thing you want to do is figure out how to sink into your room. That's right, you're going to transform your right side of your, your left side of yourself into your room. You're going to melt into the room so you know the vibrational energy matrix configuration. If you just want to do that, let's just see what you say. Psychometry to perform psychometry. This is how you use your chakras to give you shit. Put something in your third eye, put it to your heart. Put it to your solar plexus. Energetically intuiting. Just for energetically perceiving events. Very nice. Like events. You know, these are clairvoyance. These are all your powers. The ability to see illnesses. Clairvoyance, medical clairvoyance. But see, what we're interested in is the transformation. See, this is basically what you are. You're these vibrating rings. You understand? It's all you are. Place your mind towards the front of your body. You're gonna radiate out. There's always radiating out going on. Let's see if we go a little further. These are some pimp ass dudes just doing it. There was a guy that was um having a apprentice go up a rope, and everyone in the room was tranced out, and they were just sitting there. But he had the whole room in a trance and they were seeing this kid go up their stroke. It just rose out of a thing. So you can transform and other people can see you as other things, but that's not going to do you any good, Skinwalker. You're going to be hungry. You're going to need to turn into that wolf so you can get you some grub on. There's not going to be any more people to manipulate. If you turn into a chicken, it might help you. Wolver might bring you some food. Turn to the chicken. This is just a few things. The flying squirrel. We turn to a tiger. Be careful. Watch the tiger. Eye of the tiger. He's he's gonna help him out. He knows this dude, so he's helping him. It, it's nice when you know other wizards train you. You don't always have that. See, he's putting up a shield, and blocking you. I don't know what the hell this is going on here. He's sucking out an attachment using some sort of magical sword technique that rains nut sex onto the demon. That's very impressive. What is this? Turning bean men and paper horses that actually turn into soldiers and horses. Healing someone. But see now this this the transformation gets sexy. Oh, that's right. They're, they're doing it like that. Whoa. Probably my interest in this whole world. You may need this. You may need this to transform. Talk to the Yellow Emperor about it. He was a blonde haired man. He was white. Just saying. That's why he was called the Yellow Emperor. Because he had blonde hair. Assistance based materialization. You see that? So basically, if you want to transform, you better be about doing it now. You better get you this book and learn how to do it, Skinwalker. You're gonna be hungry.